Hi everybody, so Retro Ratchet has now just passed the one year anniversary mark so I thought I'd do a short video on how the channel came about, how much money I've made in that time and what I've enjoyed most about my YouTube experience. Okay, so let's go right back to the start of my YouTube journey. So where did it start? I guess, well, like most car fanatics, I spend a lot of time every night just flicking through random YouTube channels, finding new ones, anything automotive, you know, I will basically watch. It's so accessible and there's a huge variety of stuff. Um, and then a few mates said, why don't you just do a channel? You know, you've plenty of content, you know, what have you got to use? You'd be really good at it. Well, you know, that, that was where the issue started. Um, for me, I actually have a huge phobia of appearing in front of a camera. Well, I did have a huge phobia. Um, it's something that lasted about 40 years. I've been terrified of just that whole uh, type of thing of filming yourself and other people, you know, watching you talk and present. And also the fact I didn't have a clue on how to edit a video or operate a YouTube channel. So one random day, very early in February 2023, I thought, let's just give this a go. There's nobody about, there's nobody watching, nobody listening. Uh, so I stuck my iPhone on a tripod, put the tripod in the garden, and that's when uh, I done the part one SD1 video. So that series of short um, and quite awkward videos that I put together to make part one of that project uh, went on to get a tad under 9,000 views. So I guess that was most likely just beginner's luck. Well, it was definitely beginner's luck, or it was maybe just there was a high level of interest in the SD1 content as my presenting skills were even worse than they are at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I tend not to watch some of those early ones ever on repeat because they, they do make me cringe a little bit. But I guess that's the same for anybody starting out with a YouTube channel, unless presenting is something that you do professionally. So while I was riding on that wave of beginner's luck from that SD1 video, I put together a retrospective video of the MG Montego Turbo that had the red one. I'd actually just sold the car at that point. So this was merely a video editing exercise where I put together lots of little videos that I'd done along the way and pictures, and then I'd done a voiceover, which again avoided me being on the camera. So that was great. And that one actually went on to get 17, well, just under 17,000 views to this day. And that is my best performing video to date, which is bizarre because I never owned the car and I wasn't really on the video that much. And that was total beginner's luck because I never hit 17k on a video yet other than that. So that kind of, you know, kept the motivation to keep going. So what did I spend the rest of the year doing? Well, mostly project series. So we had project series uh, on Kit, the Knight Rider replica, which most of you will have seen. So 11 videos on that. MX-5, I've done four videos on that. Uh, that's not been very successful. Uh, probably the content. Mark IV Escort Gear, we've done 10 videos on. They, they, they were pretty decent uh, and reasonably popular. B204 Astra, we've done eight on those, and they're not particularly popular. I thought they would have been, just given what it was, a car with an engine transplant. But who knows? Uh, Montego HLS, we've done seven on that. And they're hit or miss. Sometimes they're popular, sometimes they're not. Rover SD1, a whopping 16 videos on that, and there is more still to come. Astra Coupe Turbo, uh, we only done a few on that one. I think it was four and that were, they weren't particularly popular either. We then done some miscellaneous videos. Uh, one of them on my daily drive, which was an M4 competition at the, t at the time. And that was a total flop, that one. We then done a TVR Chimera one. That was a car that I restored 10 years ago uh, and I very luckily got a walk round of it. Uh, that one is continuing to do pretty well. Steady day on day um, views on that. Uh, and then I've done one on the Mark III um, Astra CD that I've done some rear arch welding on. The, the, the welding was actually quite good on that. I quite enjoyed watching that one over again a few times. So that was good. And then we finally done some car reviews. The XR3i Cabrio. Mark II Astra. Uh, we've done two classic car auctions and another one to come. Uh, and two topped on products, and then we done the brand new MG X Power, which was obviously an EV, which maybe contradicts a little bit with the channel. So I think in that first year, for a beginner, I did actually get through quite a lot of content, um, but most of it was a restorative work, which I actually had to do the work to generate the content, rather than just reviewing somebody's car, figure out a script, and then what I was going to do. Now, let's take a look at the stats, if you're interested in those. So... 
As of when this video was shot, 1,800 subscribers. Don't know if that's good or bad for somebody a year in. Uh, 141,654 views in total. So yeah, 140k views. Again, don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, and total watch time for all my videos, uh, just over 10,000. 10,144, and that's spread over 104 videos. Some of those are shorts. So what videos have been the most viewed then? MG Montego Turbo, which we already mentioned, 16,936. MGX Power, 9,276, and rising each day. That roughly gets uh, 50 views a day. So that's doing pretty well. Maybe it's because it's modern. Uh, Rover SD1 Part 1, 8,991. That's creeping up slowly. Montego HLS Part 1. Uh, that's kind of went dead now, but that reached 8,734. So I was quite pleased with that. And the TVR Chimera one, uh, that again, that's kind of bread and butter views for me. That's just over 6,000 and you're getting maybe 20 views a day on that one. So that's pretty good. Anybody who's got a YouTube channel or is familiar with YouTube will know one of the key milestones for any brand new YouTuber is monetization. And that's when you join a YouTube partner program. So this is basically when you receive advert revenue on your videos. And it's more just a milestone than anything. Retro Ratchet was monetized in late July 2023. So that, that was a great achievement. You have to hit the 1,000 subscribers and a minimum of 4,000 watch hours in your first 12 months. Or 12 months, I don't know which way around it is. Uh, so here's something you're probably all wondering. Anybody that's got a YouTube channel will already know the answer to this question. Uh, my subscribers probably will not. Uh, so have I made thousands uh, with my less than slick presenting style and oddball cars? Well, let's find out. <laughs> right, the following are the most lucrative videos to date. Um, because remember, the, the, the monetization only started from July, so all that first stuff like the Montego isn't included. It's only everything after that date. MGX Power. So that's made me a whopping £51. Montego Part 1 since uh, July. £23.87. TVR Chimera, £21.85. The SD1 repaint video, uh, £7.89. And the Montego HLS engine bay painting video, which is £5.90. I mean, that doesn't go to much towards the paint. Uh, maybe the sandpaper, but that's about it. Uh, another few stats, uh, the channel RPM, so that's your uh, revenue per 1,000 views. On average, that's £1.88, which is really low. Uh, I don't I have to admit, I don't fully understand the ins and outs of this, but I think it's how much uh, advertisers will pay to put um, their adverts on your channel. So it depends on your demographic viewers, the type of channel, and a whole load of other things. So it'll be interesting to see if that changes over time. Uh, and the figure that you have all been waiting for is the grand total of what I have made, which is £234.67. So put in the comments if that was what you're expecting, if that's uh, quite poor, or if you think that's actually okay for a beginner who's not particularly good at presenting. Well, I plan to continue doing the project work anyway. Uh, we have a lot coming up on Kit and the Montego HLS. I have been shooting quite a lot over the last few months, but I've not aired uh, for, for various reasons, but all that content is sitting there. Uh, a lot of the work has turned out to be more demanding and involved than I anticipated. So I thought there's no point in putting out part videos for those. We'll wait till we have something complete. And we have a couple of minor jobs on the MX-5. Uh, I've also drafted some scripts for this. You might be able to see this is my, my daily at the moment. It's an XC90 T8. Well, I've actually written five scripts, so they might be boring or they might be interesting. Who knows? So this is my daily. We're going to do some videos on this because I might as well. Uh, I'd be keen to hear from anybody who lives in Scotland who has an interest in car. Uh, and by now, uh, you should all know the type of cars I deem as interesting. Anything oddball, rare, anything kind of ugly and unloved. Uh, anybody would consider letting me do a review of one for the channel so that, you know, I would come out... Uh, take the car out for a little while, uh, give my impressions on it and do a walk around and things like that. So that'd be really good, I think, to do some more reviews of the rarer stuff. Uh, so to summarise, you know, I think the channel's come a long way in one year. 
uh, I obviously have a full time job. I have a family, as uh, as as you will know, and I have a very busy hobby. So YouTube's on top of all of those things um, that do take priority. Uh, the editing, uh, as anybody who does a channel will know, is quite brutal and very time consuming. Uh, my presenting skills is what I'm continuing to, to, to battle with. Uh, I have to be in the right frame of mind to be able to do a video. It doesn't come naturally. Uh, it does take quite a lot from me because I, I, I still suffer um, from a bit of camera anxiety uh, when I'm doing videos. But I am working on that and that is getting better. So I think Confidence I'm continuing to work on, that is coming along when you compare to the very early videos, but I do still have a long way to go before I can totally say I'm comfortable just rolling up, looking at a car, doing a walk around of you if there's other people watching, and then out it goes. There is a lot of editing in my videos to get them to the, the, the level that you see. Uh, so one thing I do know is, without the support and encouragement of my friends and the positive interactions I get from you guys, you know, my viewers, uh, including bumping into some of you at shows and meets, this YouTube journey would not have been possible. So I'd like to end the video with a very sincere thank you to all of you for supporting me and the channel and believing that I can do it. Uh, and I'd be really interested in hearing your comments uh, in the section below. Take care and I'll see you all next time. <coughs>